There ain't no place like the South. We call it God's country. And not because somebody decided to strap a Bible belt around it. Now we believe that the Almighty chooses the wild and foolish stuff of this life to confound even the wisest of folks. Why, you don't have to drive too far to find chainsaw carvings, bowl peanut stands, there's a chicken house turned into a flea market, there's the rural town they turned into a Bavarian village as an excuse to sell beer and funnel cakes, a big chicken, or the 150-foot water tower in the shape of a peach that people keep mistaking for a giant butt. Well, this tale spotlights one of them Southern oddities, and his name is Bill Bailey the Fourth. Known around these parts is Cracker Jack. Hey, little girl, she was little and low. Used to love me, now she don't no more. You got to step it up and go. Oh, yeah. His story is what I like to call a southern fairy tale. I used to think it was a folk tale. That was until I learned that in folk tales, characters use their brains to get out of their predicaments. And I can assure you that none of the characters in this tale will be using their brains. So, once upon a time, in a land far to the south, there was a damsel in distress, a little person, and a curse that was thought to be good and buried. 